and I'm doing a a first actually for the FX France channel and this is mail time um, I just received recently a package from Mr. Terry Nguyen on YouTube he is hung 17688 um, he's a good friend of mine uh, I've met on YouTube and he's, he's one of my awesome subscribers he's got great videos great reviews on it I'm gonna post the link on his channel um, at the base of, of, of this video you can go ahead and check it out he's got great great reviews um, but he sent me something which um, in one of my videos I mentioned I was missing a figure and he just so happened had one that was MISB or mint and sealed box and he, he figured that you know it would be great if if he, if I, if, he, if I would have it uh, as part of my collection and out of the blue the guy just sends it to me and I was like oh my god you know what do you want for it I can buy it I can trade it or whatever he says nothing just go ahead you know I, I just I'm a big fan of your reviews I, I think it would be great if you could review this figure and you could have it as part of your collection and the guy is just so generous I, I, I am I am deeply grateful to you, my friend, and thank you, thank you for sending. It's it just um, I do apologize for the delay. The postal services here in Manila, sadly, uh, still has a lot to be desire, desired, um, but but we're working on it. But I have it, and I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, well, if you haven't figured it out, um, it is the Star Wars: The Clone Wars mail away, uh, not our web figure. I think which was offered in 2009. I'm not sure. But uh, out here in Manila, this figure did not make it. Not even on retail. Maybe a few collectors here and there had it or a few hobby shops. But I did not see this on stores or any promo from the supplier of Hasbro. Uh, the importer of Hasbro toys here never uh, attempted to get this figure. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But uh, there, there was no... There was no appearance of this on retail or any of the events or any of the toy fairs or whatever they had for Hasbro figures. Nothing. So I had completely given up on the figure. Just decided that you know I'm not gonna get it. And I, I, if you've seen my previous reviews, I went ahead and just got the keychain Nadar Veb to to partner uh, with, with my Kit Fisto and um, and just put it on display. But uh, Luckily for this guy Hung uh, or Terry, he sent me this figure and it's just awesome. I'm very excited, very, very happy to have it. So, let's get on with it. Here he is in his infamous battle with General Grievous, where he he and his uh, former master, he used to be the Padawan of Jedi Master Kit Fisto, they sort of enter the lair of General Grievous. I'm not going to spoil it for those who have not seen the actual episode. I doubt that there's anybody, but if there's anyone who's not seen it, it is a wonderful episode. It showcases a very interesting character, uh, and, and it gives you a glimpse of, of the a little bit of the history of General Grievous. But it was great. It was great. So I'm going to stop with that so I don't spoil it for anybody. So this General Grievous is the updated version with the knees. He still can't stand on his own. He's, he's like leaning on the lightsabers of, of Nadar Veb. So let's get rid of him. Not the best previous in the world. And here is Kit Fisto. The lightsaber that he has is almost identical to the one that Nadar Veb has. This one has a lot more black in it, but uh, that's that. Hint, hint, for those who have not seen the episode, I'm pretty sure you figured out what happens. So. On to the figure itself. Uh, wait, uh, I wanted to mention something. I'm not entirely sure if it's in scale with the regular three and three quarters figures. He's a little bit big for me. I would expect him to be a little bit, just a tad bit shorter. But uh, Hasbro decided to make him a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. I could be mistaken, but please do leave comments below and tell me if he's in scale or not. Either way, regardless of that, he's still a great figure and, and a wonderful addition to my collection. He comes with a lightsaber, obviously, that's the only accessory he's got. Um, his articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head, he's got a swivel waist, he's got hinge, hinge hips, uh, ball hinge knees, no ankle articulation, bit of a shame, but that's fine. Uh, for his arms, I've not seen this kind of articulation on a Star Wars figure yet. He's got a ball-jointed shoulder with a hinge, so that's that allows him to cross his arms 
actually hold the lightsaber more properly and actually spread his arms better. So that's pretty cool. Um, General Grievous, you will die for you. Sorry, my crappy rendition of his voice. He's just for a small guy. He just wanted to kick his to kick Grievous' ass. He's got ball hinge elbows and a ball jointed forearm. I've not seen this kind of joint in any of the Star Wars figure. It's not on the wrist. It's like a bit of the forearm. So very interesting. Uh, very very nice figure. Could be mistaken. He's like a calamari, a mon calamari figure. I think. I'm not sure. Like the race of um, Admiral Akbar. Something like that. I'm not sure. I could be mistaken. But he's nice. He's now a Jedi, a former Padawan. He's now all grown up and very cocky. So, uh, the box. I'm not going to do it. Let me just show you the box very quickly. I'm not going to do a review on the box. The box is a actual. Um, it's thicker than most boxes. You can cut it out and then you can form a diorama um, and it'll have a picture of Grievous in the hallway. Uh, there are some reviewers who have done good reviews on the packaging. Um, you can check out Filmmaker Mike. Uh, he's got a great review on this one, on the packaging. So I'm not going to do it because I really like the, to keep the packaging in pristine condition. Well, almost pristine. Um, because I'm, I'm thinking of putting him back and just displaying him because he's just so awesome. So, very nice, very, very intriguing character, and uh, the, the, the figure itself, the rendition, is very, very close, very close to the actual uh, character on the show, very show accurate. And uh, I'm just really, really happy to have him. So, uh, for those of you who are still looking for this one, I'm not entirely sure how you'll be able to get it. Some hobby shops might have him for sale. You could buy it on a garage sale somewhere near your area or what, or have it. You can trade with a fellow collector or, or, or on eBay, but uh, this thing is not available in retail and uh, definitely not available in Manila. So just sharing my happiness with you and, and just absolute gratitude to, to the magnanimity of Mr. Terry Nguyen or Hung17688 on YouTube. Go check out his vids, they're awesome. So there you have it, the mail away exclusive figure of the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, and Nadar Veb. Thanks for watching.